Illumina community. I'm Tim Gilmartin, a field application scientist at Illumina. The iSeq100 system is Illumina's first user installable sequencing system and is easy to get up and running. Once it is up and running, you'll want to keep it that way. Focusing on maintenance and run optimization can help ensure maximum uptime and productivity for your system. In this video, we will highlight basic maintenance and troubleshooting activities and resources, highlight optimal loading concentrations, one of the most common troubleshooting issues. And should you be unsuccessful in troubleshooting your iSeq100 system yourself, we'll show you where to turn for additional support. Reviewing and performing preventative maintenance on your system can help ensure continued performance. However, you'll want to know what steps you can take if your instrument or run is not performing as expected. Illumina has two resources detailing iSeq100 maintenance and basic troubleshooting to help ensure maximum uptime and productivity for your system. The online course, Maintenance and Troubleshooting, is available on the iSeq100 system support webpage. This training highlights procedures such as clearing the hard drive, replacing the air filter, and ensuring software is updated. The troubleshooting section will show you how to diagnose and correct potential system issues, including control software errors, pre-run or system check failures, and suboptimal run metrics. Also, be sure to reference the troubleshooting appendix section of the iSeq100 system guide, which has more mitigations and guidance, including error message resolution, power cycling and system checks, and restoring to factory settings. Let's highlight a common troubleshooting effort for next generation sequencing, optimizing loading concentration. When an iSeq100 run generates a lower than expected percent of clusters passing filter, and thus a lower than desired yield, the loading concentration likely needs to be adjusted. In this chart, you can see quality metrics for many iSeq100 runs. The percent occupancy is on the x-axis, and the percent of clusters passing filter on the y-axis. As you can see, sequencing runs showing lower than expected percent passing filter and thus reduced output, can also have either high or low percent occupancy, with high being above 95% and low being below 60%. From this plot, we can see the optimal percent occupancy is about 90%, which yields the optimal percent passing filter and therefore the optimal output for your sequencing run. By reviewing these two metrics, you can determine if the run was loaded with a DNA library concentration that was too low, leading to lower percent occupancy, or too high, leading to higher percent occupancy, and then adjust accordingly. Percent occupancy is a key metric. Percent passing filter will be too low in both over and underloaded situations, but percent occupancy will help tell the rest of the story. You will find a wealth of resources online that will guide you in the operation of your iSeq100. We've created another expert video tip that highlights specific resources for your particular need. Should you need additional guidance following any self-performed troubleshooting, you can contact Illumina Technical Support. Illumina Technical Support is the main contact for assistance with your iSeq100 system. You can email them at techsupport at illumina.com or call the phone number on screen for your region. Illumina Proactive is a monitoring service in which instrument performance data are sent to Illumina to facilitate proactive maintenance. If you enable Illumina Proactive on your iSeq100, the Illumina service and support team has direct access to your instrument performance parameters and can help you diagnose and troubleshoot instrument issues quickly. For more information on Illumina Proactive, including data security considerations, you can view the expert video tip or see the Illumina Proactive technical note. If an instrument issue can be determined, but cannot be resolved remotely, Illumina can enter the advanced exchange process. Advanced exchange replaces a damaged or defective system with a refurbished system. To minimize downtime, you receive the replacement system before shipping back the original. For more details, see the advanced exchange appendix section of the iSeq100 system guide. We hope this video has addressed some of your maintenance and troubleshooting questions, including how to optimize loading concentration and where to turn should you need additional troubleshooting help. Congratulations on the purchase of your iSeq100 system, and thanks for being part of the Illumina community.